What's this? Oh no. I think she may have lied to me. Oh. Crap. Yo, have you ever wondered what it was like to buy something on OfferUp, but you weren't sure if it was a scam? So I wanted to try to find one of the cheapest, cheaper, cheaper iPhones on there, get a good deal. Now, whether I'm going to flip it or give it to my daughter, she asks me every single time I open up an iPhone box, is that mine? Is it mine? Is it? Yeah, is that mine? I just want to go through this process so maybe you'll feel a little bit better Shoo. about buying something on there and what not to do. I've had the app for a while now, and I've never bought anything on it. I look, see if anything's worth it, and then I'll usually go find it somewhere else or I decide I wanna buy it new. But in this instance, I am gonna make this happen. Let's see if we can find maybe like an iPhone 12 for 200 bucks. So bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. That being said, I might go for something that's damaged. I have some experience in fixing iPhones and I feel pretty comfortable taking it apart, whether it's the screen or the battery. Beyond that, maybe like a camera, microphone, but let's let's limit it. Let's, let's slow down. Let's slow down, see what we can find. I have seen things on here that look way too good to be true and so be careful. You want to sell me a $1,234 iPhone 12. <sighs> Moving on. No, no, no. Oh, hey, while you're here and watching this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. This is a brand new channel. This helps tremendously. So thank you guys so much for the support and more Apple videos coming up. No, definitely not that one. Have I mentioned that this process can take a while? <laughs> I mean, I'll spend hours looking on here and not find anything that I'm looking for. So there's that. Actually, here you go. No. An iPhone 12 Pro Max. Nope. For $450, five months ago in Lancaster. N no, run. Run as fast as you can, Forrest. Because that's a scam. <laughs> Let's go ahead and change this to iPhone 11. I, I don't want to spend three to four hundred dollars. iPhone 11, 225. Still have box with it. I hope so. Got some fingerprints on that, son. If you're going to take pictures and post your stuff online, clean it. You know what? I might reach it. Where the heck am I going? Where the heck am I going? Where, where, where were you? Where, where was that? Are you stupid? There it is. I'm gonna reach out to this guy and just ask if it's available. So here's one. This is an iPhone 11 for $130. Oh, that green. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. And as you can see here, it has a damaged screen. Let's go ahead and message her and see what we can get. Buy one, get one free. AirPod free. Not even gonna mess with that. No, no, no. iPhone 11, 175. Now this was posted three months ago. It looks like the price dropped. Is it cracked? Yeah, it is cracked. Let's go ahead and ask if this is still available because what I will do is I would, uh, bleh, bleh. what am I trying to say? I would offer less. What is wrong with me? I haven't even like gotten one. I, I'm impatient, I know. One eternity later. Mm. Okay, so I've been at this for a little bit now. <laughs> About, a, I don't know, an hour or so. Good news, I did hear back from one person. Shoot. This is the phone that had the, the green and it had the, you'll see it, the messed up screen. I asked if she would take $100. And she said, if you're gonna pick it up tomorrow, we got one, maybe? And again, I, I messaged a ton of people and it is what it is. So fingers crossed. The next day. Okay, so we are about to pick up the iPhone 11 that I found on offer up for a hundred bucks. You guys know it's got the broken screen. Hopefully that's all. If it's more, then we're gonna have some issues here because I may have or may have not have already bought a screen replacement for it. I could sell it for around 400, so potential 200, 150 to 200 dollar profit. That'd be kind of cool. But if not, that's 200 bucks. Now I can return the screen, so I'm only at 100. But we'll see. Okay, so I've got the phone. Uh oh, almost dropped it. <laughs> Here it is, and uh, the screen looks great. 
as, as far as, you know, damage wise, there doesn't look like there's any damage at all on the screen. It looks like the digitizer might be separated from the display. You can see there, it's got the, the lines on it and whatnot, but everything else looks great on it. Uh, a little tiny scratch on the Apple logo. Let's go home and take a look at this a little bit closer and uh, see if we can finish setting it up. I am super excited to get into this and show you guys exactly what we got. We know the screen is damaged. I did pick up a new display and of course, just in case, a new battery. Because let's be honest, if I'm gonna be flipping this or giving it to my daughter, I want it to have a fresh battery. But see, everything's working just fine. And it's just uh, difficult to see. Um, and of course, you know, finishing up set, what's this? Oh no. I think she may have lied to me. Oh, crap. Let me just back up for a second here. Screens that I get are from iFixit. Now I've done these before, no issues. Shouldn't be a problem replacing this. But she told me that her son dropped it and this is it. This was the result of it. And she didn't want to get it fixed. But clearly this is not a genuine phone screen. I, that has nothing to do with activating the phone at all. I mean, the phone works, but I can't be selling it to somebody if that screen message stays up. It, it can't be. I, I've, I've never had that issue come up because I don't buy cheap screens. Let's fix this, put the screen on, get the new battery on, and go from there, I don't know. I, I hope this works. Okay, this was not a result I was expecting. And to be completely honest with you, I'm kind of at a loss for words. So I just wanted to jump on here and shoot from the hip and show you what I found. We have our display. It looks absolutely perfect. Face ID works great. And as you can see, the screen looks absolutely awesome. No problems whatsoever. Of course, until we take a look at settings, got a nice little number two right there. What could that possibly be? Well, we are greeted with important display message, important battery message. And of course we go in, that is our typical display message that we got last time, not our authentic part. How about the battery? Same exact message, not an authentic battery. Now, of course, along with the battery, if you wanna go in and take a look at exactly what the battery life and health is left on the phone, maximum capacity, no longer available. Peak performance capacity, no longer available. And because of that, Apple basically just screwed me out of $240. And actually, I feel kind of stupid because I really should have known this ahead of time. I just really wasn't thinking about it. I thought I could repair this phone just like any other phone that I've done. Up until this point, everything was going exactly as planned. So the fact that I failed, I'm kind of at a loss for words. I. I don't really know what else to say. Now, of course, failing makes this video a whole lot more interesting if I wasn't so pissed off about it. Now, I certainly can't sell the phone like this because it doesn't do what it's supposed to do. It'll work absolutely awesome as a phone for my daughter. I could put her on the plan and she can use it as a phone or she can just use the Wi-Fi. The reason why this failed should be a subject for another video. Because the reason why we failed is a lot more interesting than actually failing to fix the screen and the battery. So be sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, so you don't miss that video because it's coming real soon.